Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, everybody. How are you doing today? Hey, Art. Good to see you. Welcome, everybody, to Celebrating Act 2. Uh, Art, we've got a special guest today. Hmm. And yes, and her name is Donalyn. But before I say her last name, she's just an, like an amazing... We should be half as fit as she is. Oh, okay. boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is, this is a subject that's dear to my heart, fitness. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I have never been. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Lynn Polito. How are you doing? A, uh, good morning, Donna Lynn. How are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Good. Uh, Donna Lynn, uh, I'm excited to talk to you uh, for the first time because I have a list of your credits or... Uh, or official titles, maybe, is a better word. Now, primarily, you are a personal trainer. Am I correct? Correct. OK, so here's what I have. You're a holistic personal trainer. You are also a rehab and corrective training specialist. You specialize in bottle bodies over 50. You are a weight loss specialist, something I want to talk to you more about. Uh, and you are an ACSM certified exercise physiologist don't know what that is. Corrective exercise specialist. That sounds important. A PN2 exercise nutrition coach and a Z health R phase neurology of elite performance expert. Donna Lynn, those are pretty impressive. I have no idea what they mean. But all I know, John, <laughs> all I know is that she looks a whole lot more fit than we are. <laughs> Well, when you're in here for a long time, you seem to accumulate all those things. <laughs> now, speaking of a long time, that's what we're all about. We're all about celebrating our second act, our uh, the, the second half of our life. And I would say you appear to be a mature woman mm -hmm. over 50. And mm -hmm. you specialize in bodies over 50. You specialize in uh, older people. Uh, do you... Do you have special exercises or do you, how do you approach fitness for us seniors? Well, you know, I think that um, everybody should try to do the best that they can. And I don't necessarily um, do exercises that are uh, less intense or less challenging just because you're 50 and over. So I try to move the body in ways that we function. So I look at exercises as how we do our daily activities, and then the exercises follow that so that you can move better in your daily routines. Uh, well, I think that's important. Yeah. So, so um, if somebody is just uh, worry that uh, they're getting older, they can't move around a lot. Because we address people, and we often use the phrase that we're living longer, healthier lives. And <clears throat> healthier doesn't necessarily mean that we're more physically able. It just means that instead of uh, 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 like our grandparents, uh, who may have, uh, uh, many of them passed in the 50s and early 60s, it's not unheard of for most of us uh, today to certainly get into our 80s and 90s. So. We are healthier in, the, in that we live longer, but we're not necessarily more limber. And I think that's where you really come in because uh, you want to uh, go down and pick up the grandchildren. It may be different when you're 60 than when you're 70 or 80. So how do you help people keep uh, limber? I think that's one of the things that most impressed me about uh, what you provide to uh, uh, people who are older. Well, what I do um, with my personal clients when we work one-on-one -on -one is I see where they're limited. So then with that limitation, we, we try to um, concentrate on that and we try to uh, restore that area. We, so we're trying to make that um, more available to movement. And we have a bunch of techniques and methods that we do that. And once we get that moving, then we can move to the next spot. 
And, and we keep doing that until we have better control over our whole body. And then we can start moving our body in a more uh, dynamic way. So it, it does take a little bit of time, but it's uh, really rewarding because now you can move more comfortably and in larger ranges of motion. So you can do more things without aching and being painful and things of that sort. So we we approach this uh, on, a, on a slow kind of um, attitude. We kind of slow it down a little bit uh, and then we move it forward. But we don't ever uh, not challenge it. We are always challenging the movement and the body and um, trying to go to the next level. That would, uh, that would probably account for your titles. Forgive me, I have to read them again. Your title of Corrective Exercise Specialist and uh, PN2 Exercise Nutrition Coach. Uh, I, I would think that that would apply to what you were just talking about. Well, absolutely, because if I were to just take somebody and start saying, okay, push-ups, okay, you can't do a push-up, all right, then try it this way, oh, if you can't do it that way, do it this way, that doesn't work because whatever dysfunction or imbalance that they have is still there. And if all I'm doing is making them work on that harder, that's just going to make that worse. So I have to have a pretty keen eye and see what's going on with how they're moving their body. If they have a little uplift here or a little jerk here or whatever. And then we then knowing the physiology of it, I can move the exercise to that point that's holding them back. And we work on that. And, and you that can do this. Release it. And you can do this all online with clients. One on one, I do online. do it online. Yeah, I do it online. It it's um it takes a little bit to do it online, and I have to have them give me a lot of feedback. Um, but I do, yeah, I do it online. Yeah, I can see, amazing. You can uh, see it online. You can see things moving in ways they shouldn't be. Yeah, um, and you also do online classes, uh, group classes, but not as much because your specialty is personal training. Right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I, um, I, I want. Uh, go ahead. Go, sorry, go you ahead, may have right. go going in the same direction. Um, uh, we, we know you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, when did you first decide that uh, this is the kind of thing you wanted to do? What was your first uh, exposure to uh, fitness uh, or personal training? I remember it well, actually, um, in the nineteen eighties aerobics came out. And um, before that time, I've done a lot. Of, I was always active. So I would be running, you know, I had running partners and we would be jogging and stuff. And I did martial arts and dance and different things. It always just interested me. And then aerobics came and uh, there was a little gym on the corner. And so I go early in the morning because I would be working all day at a regular job. And I do the aerobics and I just fell in love with it. It was so exhilarating and so much fun. And we had all these people around. We would have so much fun doing it. So I hired somebody to teach me how to do it. And then I got certified. So now I didn't have to pay the gym the dues. They were paying me. And I could go and do my <laughs> exercise in the morning by leading the class rather than being in it. And that was just a joy. I had so much fun doing that. I did that for many years. And then a um, little later on, I didn't know anything about personal training. And I, I said, let me try this. And so I hired a trainer and, and they started showing me things. And I thought, man, I could do that. Um, and about that time, I uh, recognized that I had a really bad injury from when I was much younger. So I had to kind of uh, readjust what I was doing to uh, correct that injury. So I would, uh, say, I would get up early in the morning and I'd have to have a heating pad on my back and I would sit in that heating pad for about two hours and I would study these physiology books so I could figure out how to adjust what I was doing 
to accommodate my injuries. And that's essentially how I became a personal trainer. And, and obviously a, a lot of different uh, study courses and uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, certifications since then, because you've been doing it for 40 years. Sure. So then you just, you get interested in certain areas. And as I was working with people, I would notice that uh, some people had, you know, more abilities than others, but that it, they would be sore in places that were kind of unusual, you know, like would be doing one move or two and then, but the soreness would come in a strange place. So I go, oh, well, how does that connect? You know, so then I would look into that a little bit more and then I'd get really interested in that. And pretty soon before I knew it, I'd have another certification. You know, I go, wow, that was really interesting. So it, it allowed me uh, from watching my clients and also from my own body, adjusting whatever I had to adjust, uh, it just interested me in how to do that, how to do that. So I didn't want to just be a personal trainer that just stood by and counted to 12 and, you know, you you did, you know, this pull and that pull and that push and whatever. To me, that uh, wasn't really polishing the body, as it were. It wasn't what I call polishing the temple. It didn't really polish it. It just made it bigger or more sore. And, you know, sometimes those people looked weird because they'd round in places that they shouldn't be rounding. I mean, it was just, you know, it wasn't the way I wanted to go. And uh, I just saw uh, the way that people needed to move. Uh, they, they needed more than that. And so I just would dive into those those areas. And as I would dive into them, uh, I'd, lo and behold, there'd be a course on it. And I, wow, I could do this, you know. So, and that's how I got all the certifications. I actually had a whole bunch more, but <laughs> it got to be ridiculous. So I, I said, okay, you know, I know that stuff. I don't need to be certified in it and stuff. So... But yeah, we're all, I'm always looking and studying. It's like my library is very technical. It's not, not full of fiction at all. <laughs> so, so you, um, you um, are basically a one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal trainer. You do a lot of it by uh, uh, the internet online. Um, yes. But uh, do you have some uh, uh, videos uh, uh, that you have posted someplace so somebody can get uh, a sense of that? Or if they wanted to contact you, uh, about the kinds of things you do, uh, how would they go about doing that? Well, I did do, I uh, started doing some videos on YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel, Fitness Pro Over 60. And I have, um, you know, some videos on there that I just started when the pandemic started. We, uh, all my clients went online. Now we had been online uh, for several years, actually. Uh, we would do personal training one-on-one -on -one in, you know, in a gym before the pandemic. But when we go on vacation or, you know, uh, they would leave or I would leave, we still wanted to work out. So we, I showed them how to go online. So we would been doing online for a couple of years. And so when the pandemic came, I said, okay, here we go. We're just being online. So it wasn't unusual for us or big transition. Um, but then I realized that they would need more than that. So I started making videos and the best place I could find to house those videos and for them to be available to people was on YouTube. So I put them on YouTube and I started making videos on there. So yes, people can see, uh, uh, get some workouts, you know, anywhere from like 10 to 20 minute workouts, uh, of what I do on on YouTube. Uh, one one last thought for you, and it relates to uh, uh, losing weight and nutrition. Fitness isn't necessarily being thin and muscular, uh, weightlifter, bodybuilder look. Am I correct? I mean, it's really about being the best you can be at any age. Does that absolutely? Be true? Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the reasons why I still do this is because you, I really want people to understand 
that they can still be fit and active no matter what age they are. That you can actually, by moving your body as best to your ability, by moving your body and fueling it correctly, you can be healthy without medications and out appliances and all those things for here until forever, until you're not anymore. Those things are available to you. And a lot of reasons why we um, get ill and fall apart and stuff is because we're not moving and we're not fueling correctly. So nutrition absolutely has a role to play in that. But fitness is just coming to where your body moves best, feels best, um, is, is operating at its optimum level. And that that's all over the map. <laughs> you know, people's optimum levels are very different from one person to the other. But you want to be at your optimum level. So um, instead of working down here on the uh, lower levels, like, okay, now I've turned 50 or 60 or whatever, and you like all things go out the window, uh, that's not true at all. We want to actually enhance that and elevate that and make that appear at a high level. So yeah, nutrition has a whole lot to do with it. Fitness doesn't mean that you are necessarily, you know, uh, pencil thin um, or that you have all the muscles in the world. It means that you're strong, that you can move your body in ways that are available and uh, work well for you. It means that you're full of life, uh, that you have all an energy level that is um, always sustained. You know, you're not in pain all the time. I mean, there's there's so many good parts to it. It's hard to imagine people not wanting to be there. Right. Well, if we understand what it means, you know, we're not intimidated by seeing, uh, you know, 30-year-olds jumping around at 100 miles an hour or, or no. you know, we, we understand what fitness really is and that we can achieve it, then I think we Absolutely. Will, we'll all try it, uh, try to Absolutely. be as fit as we can. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it, it really isn't about jumping all around and, and you know, uh, how many of these you can do and all that. that. That really isn't it. That really isn't it. It's yeah. really more about uh, making your body work to its best level. Good. Well, listen, Donna Lynn, I, that's why I like your a phrase that I think I saw on your website, that we can age successfully. That's, that's your goal, is to help us age successfully. So, Absolutely. Yeah, I, this has been terrific. Um, really appreciate uh, you sharing your story and talking about fitness in general and nutrition. And I'm sure uh, we'll visit you again with maybe some specific things. As I said earlier, we could talk about weight loss. Yeah. <laughs> Always can yeah. use tips about weight loss, even if I ignore them. Right, Art? Uh, yeah. Ab absolutely. And, we're, I know, I know. and we are really, we have... I'm we, used to that. We're really yeah. good at ignoring them. But we, we, <laughs> we've taken it to a fine art. But I will, uh, speaking of art, uh, that's me. Uh, I would uh, highly suggest that people, uh, um, uh, if they want to get a sense for uh, how doable uh, the kinds of exercises that you guide people in, is they should go to your YouTube channel. Uh, what's mm -hmm. that, Fit Over 60? Fitness Pro Over 60. Fitness Pro Over 60. And they should uh, take a look at some of them because take a look at some of them and you say, you know what, I can do that. So I, I don't have to be as sedentary. So uh, what a delight. You are a delight. Uh, we, oh, uh, have really, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I think our audience uh, will have now some sense that uh, they don't have to be, they can be a couch potato, but they can be not fries, but they can be a robust baked potato. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I don't know that that's an inspirational no. message. Oh, okay. Before we go, Donalyn, give us your website again and uh, and how we can get in touch with you and, and sign up for your classes. 
Terrific. Um, my website is thebodyfitsolution.com. Thebodyfitsolution.com. Okay. Correct. Correct. And uh, is there an email? Where there is an email. Of? So the email is the T H E at the at sign bodyfitsolution.com. So it's your website with a little uh, at, at sign, sign in, in the it. middle, right? I got you. Good. Thank Great. you so much. We'll we'll see you online. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. Nice to see you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.